Hello, welcome back to Bree's Beautiful World. Today, we're gonna get do a get ready with me and I'm gonna show you how I did my makeup for my intro video using any palette I want. So it's gonna be a foolproof full way on how to do your eye makeup. So let's get into it. First thing I'm gonna do is prime my face and I'm using the any primer that you want today, I'm using Dr. Brandt's Illuminizing Primer. It's one of the primers that I got in my BoxyCharm boxes way back when. So, I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. And when I use my primer, I'll put my primer over anything that's makeup going to touch. Kind of like a barrier between your face and the makeup is seeping into your pores. So I did that and then I'm going to tie my hair back because I don't want to get makeup in my good weave. You know what I'm saying? Bam. Bam. So I'm going to go ahead all over here. Then I'm going to get a nice chapstick of some sort and I'm gonna start to moisturize my lips to soften them for when I use like a matte lipstick later and there we have it that way when I get ready to um prime my um lips and put my liner and my lipstick on it don't have that dry feeling that most um, matte lipsticks give you so we're gonna go from there and I keep all my makeup separated so like right now I'm going into my foundation um, container I get these containers from Dollar Tree they come in different colors sometimes they have the color ones sometimes they don't but um next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and put my foundation and stuff on bam and i'm gonna be using juvia's place today they shade sticks and i have color madagascar and mozambique and this is how they look on me see that that's pretty much dead on for me but my skin changed color so i have two different colors so and then that one's a little bit like yeah so i'm gonna go ahead in with Madagascar and I'm gonna go ahead and put my makeup on this way and then I'm gonna put my concealer on I have the magic concealer in 11 Cause I get a little light skin in the winter time and I'm gonna do that not too much because you don't want to be caked and the reason why I like to put my concealer on before I do my eyes is because I like to conceal my lids as well because my lids are a different color a little bit slightly different from the rest of my face a little darker so and then I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place as you can see, I have all my gazillion brushes back here. I'm going to reach for the Juvia's Place foundation brush, and then I'm going to pat my makeup in. Now, I am going out on a date with my hubby boo. So, my makeup game has been real light. I don't want to do too much. And I don't want to be too much like as far as foundations being caked up. There we go. And I'm going to cover everything, even my brows, because once i do a simple brow look because i already have eyebrows as y'all can see i'm not a bald head little when it comes to my eyebrows and and i get my little mirror and i just go ahead 
Get my little hair itself together. Yes. I don't do all that. Oh, create eyebrows because I have brows. But for your sisters that need to draw your eyebrows on, go ahead and put your eyebrows on, girl. All right, and that's just kind of toned me out a little bit. Now I'm going to take the same concealer. What well, a 13 now, because the 13, as you go down Julia's line, you get um, lighter colors. So a one would be darker than a 13. It's kind of backwards with them. I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for a while because I find when you let your concealer sit, it covers better. Get that mustache. <laughs> All right. Especially under your eyes, when you let it kind of like set a little bit, it just blends out better. Now, next, what I'm going to do is take a darker shade and I'm going to create my shadows back in my face. So I'm going to use the color Zambia in a shade stick and I'm going to put the color back into my face up here. And I, I don't want to do too much. I'm just getting ready to go put a mask on anyway. So I haven't been doing a whole face up. But everybody asked me, you know, what I did to get the look that I had. And this is exactly what I've done. You know, as far as this one goes, I have a special brush for my nose. Let me get it. A nose contour brush. So what I do is when it comes to my nose with this one, I bring it from here to here, here, to here, and then I do that. Contour that nose a little bit. Get that oink oink ready, you know what I mean? And I contour all up off in here, and I bring it into my eyebrow so it's seamless. So I let that sit for a little while, and then I have either a brush like this. Where's my fade? Let me put this in front of me because I know y'all tired of seeing my little naked naps. I'll use a brush that's compact like this. And I have a bigger one too. I have tons of brushes. Oh, I also use this one. And these are BH Cosmetics. You can go on their website and get their um, Pro Sculpt um, set, I think it was the name of it. So I got this one and I got a bigger one, just like this one that I use. Here it goes. I need y'all up here so I can grab with ease. So this one, what I will use around the face and I'll turn around and use this one underneath the eye because it's smaller and around this area is just better than trying to fit this old big old thing in here. So this one I use around here and then this one I will use underneath the eye to kind of pat it in. I'm also going to use a setting spray. The Iconic London. This one has shimmer in it. So it kind of gives me a illuminating. Um, as you can see, it gives me kind of a illuminating look. And not so dull and bright. But I also use Morphe's um, setting um, spray as well. That one is the very one with somebody's name on it. I don't want to talk about. But I also use um, that one as well. Okay, so now what we're going to do is blend this contour out. So I'm going to go 
and I'm going to blend upward and downward into my foundation right there. Yes, simple. I don't have technique like that, but this is what I do. This is what works for me. You do what works for you. If you're learning, I'll get better. You see how it kind of naturally creates that shadow back where I originally had shadow in my face. And then I kind of like go up into my concealer. And that's just my jawline. As you can see, it blends out. And get that chin, get that highlight on my chin. Ooh. Buff that out. And you see how it used to be so dark and then now it's kind of like, I got a, you know, bold contour. I like that. I like that. Now I'm going to take the smaller one and I'm going to go ahead into this area. And I like to pat and I swipe, like push it in. As you can see. I bring it up so this whole little area one don't look dark and one don't look mega light I just go ahead and conceal the whole eyes as you can see they're all the same color and bring it up here and here and I'm gonna go back with my um contour brush and this is the 138 in that sculpt pro they had three different sets. I got two of them. I think I got one and I got set two. But it's been years since I bought these brushes. I don't I was living in Louisiana and now I'm living in Texas. And I had them before I even moved. Get over that lip. You want to just have this as flawless as possible. You see how that, 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 that nose starting to be a little snatched. Yes. Because I have um, dark spots, like dark under eyes. And I look up and try to get all into it. And now I'm blending out that nose area. I'm going into the lighter section first. As you can see, it looks like my forehead is getting a little lighter in my T-zone. Because this T-zone is what you're, you're concealing and brightening. And then I'm here with it. I'm here with it. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. So that light and that dark just makes, you know, more closer to my skin tone. And that's what you want. You want to be as close to your skin color as possible. You don't want to look like Michael Jackson White. And then, like, you don't want to be ghost-like. You want to be as unique to your color as possible. But it all blends together. I'm going to go back in with the darker color and put more shadow into my face as you can see mm, like
and it's okay to mess up people you mess up you see what you mess up you have you know my lighting is different to y'all than it is to me so i'm just literally rushing through this because i do have a day and it's already late and i normally take my nose ring out but i'm gonna just take a q-tip afterwards you can see it but you can't But this one's so flat, I don't have to, you know, do too much with it. But I'm probably going to take it out and I'll uh, clean it and put it back in. But not right now. So I do want to, while I'm blending, say thank you to all of those that took the time to subscribe to me. And following me on this new journey. Like the love was so overwhelming. And I'm going to just try my best to be as consistent as possible and give y'all content because I love y'all and y'all love me. I'm going back in with, you see they have that. I'm probably going to run it across my, I'm going to kind of rub it right here. Oh, I don't even have to do that. I can do my powder. And I'm going to go back in with a little bit more and get some of it. And it did, you see how my face is changing with the deeperness. And then I'm going to show you another trick to um, blend the two flawlessly. You know, I just added the shadow back in there. And I tend not to swipe because you can see the swipes when you swipe. I pet, 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 Next, I'm going to go back with my foundation brush. It's still got foundation in it. And you just kind of blend from there with that skin color. And you bring that dark and that light and you mix in that skin color in it. And it just brings you back to... Flawless. Mm -hmm. Brings you back here. You see how I'm just... And I don't swipe. I'm still patting. Now, I do use a beauty blender under my eyes as well. Like, I'm probably going to... A light under my eyes but they don't look too bad girl your skincare is working but i use one of these i get them from miss a so you can you go to shop miss a.com and they have the little mini blender and this is it wet it's wet so it's smaller and then when i wet it it does come out to play okay and then i'll use this one as well i can use the tip of this one and then i can use this side to put my powder in which i'm about to um use my face powder next to set my under eyes so i wanted you to see how you know where we at with it then once i put the um bake start what they call baking um i'm gonna start doing my eye makeup so you'll get to see where i'm at with it okay and my little handy dandy powder and highlight I'm going to go, I'm doing all Juvia's Place. So I'm going to go in with, I don't want it too bright. So either Gobi or Kalahari. And this is how you um spell it. Wait, it's around here somewhere. It's Kalahari or Gobi. Gobi is more of a darker one. Kalahari is like a brightening Depending on, you can mix them to get your color. Um, you get a color as close to your skin tone as possible or for what you want to do. If you want to brighten your under eye, you get a lighter color. But I can show you what they look like as if you're looking for something close to your skin tone or you just want to see. Because sometimes the screen colors don't give you. See, the this is Kalahari and it's more of a brightening for me. And it's a yellow. So when I'm looking for that bright and light underneath my eyes, I go for the Kalahari one. But when I'm looking for a more neutral 
I go for Gobi. As you can see, this is what Gobi looks like. It's more my flesh tone. So I don't want my under eyes bright tonight. So I'm going to go in with my sponge. I'm going to dip it off in here. And I'm patting it down. Press and bake. Dip it again. And I'm baking my under eyes around where I put that concealer. And I'm going to the other side. Just to create a little flawlessness under my eyes. And so that cream foundation and that cream concealer don't budge. Don't be alarmed that it looks this way. And I kind of go above my nosey, like where I put the dark here. I kind of conceal around my nose and my lip. So it don't rub off. So while that's baking, I know I look scary. Don't judge me. While that's baking, I just bake in that area. I don't do the faux because I'm not going for a real drastic elegant look i'm trying to go as normal as possible and this is the technique i use with any set of makeup i um i use and last time i used rihanna's um foundation the hydrating foundation and i used the hydrating foundation and the hydrating primer and i kind of do the same technique with everything now we're gonna go in and play with our brows. Oh, that got me. Why does this weight? Mm. Oh, I must have color in here. And my brush. And pretty much. You see how it's darkening up my thing? Y'all, this don't normally happen, but something's going on with this brush. I guess it has so much um, product, but I normally, I have the sharpener on here, so I sharpen my pencil. Bam. I use a dollar pencil to do my brows. Um, why, Brianna? Because... A, I mean, I'm not with the pomades. Whatever you use is strictly for you. But if you want something simple, clad, foolproof, go with that pencil, girl. And I draw my tail. Ooh. So basically I'm reshaping and I don't spend a ton of time reshaping my brows. And that makeup that we put on it earlier, we're just drawing over that canvas. Here we go. What you think? I'm gonna go in and clean it up with my concealer brush in a minute. There we go. And I just try to make them scissors, not sisters, not cousins. And I like a little point action. Like I like my eyebrows to drop off the cliff. 
and I just try to give them as even as possible. Your eyebrow tail is supposed to not go too far from your corner here, but I think that's that looks good. And I am going to go ahead and clean them up with my Bare Minerals top, oh, concealer brush. Grab you and pretty much this is the concealer brush it is flat as you can see and I'm gonna take the foundation that's closest to the concealer that is on my eyes I'm not gonna use a bright one because I've already did that so the one that is closest to your skin tone I would suggest using As you can see, All right there. And I'm going to go on the other side. And you see with that, um, you can always go back and blend that out. And you blend that out. But you see, it's not that whiteness that most people get. And that's why I kind of do my makeup this way because I don't want to double work myself. And I don't want to spend too much time doing one thing. So... We're still baking, and I'm gonna bake until I finish my eye makeup. So, tonight I'm gonna do a sip and paint with my fiance, and I'm probably gonna just wear some jeans and a cute little shirt. Um, I wanna do a makeup look that is not, you know, too much. I don't wanna do the same color that I did the last time. So, I'm going to go in with maybe a Julia's Place palette because I didn't use a Julia's last time but I'm gonna stay true to Julia's and I'm going to get another palette and go into it and create a foolproof eye look let's get it Now with me, as you can see back there, I have plenty of Juvia's. And if you look over there, there's more Juvia's. I should have did a Wahala. Yeah, I should have played in the Wahala because I can, that is one palette that I can truly get multiple looks out of. So basically my palette that I look for in palettes to buy has to have transition colors which is the color you put all over your lid. Then it has to have darks and then some shimmers to highlight the inner corner of my eye. And with this one, I get that. So I can make a full look out of this palette. It's gonna be exciting, but it's pulling orange for me. That's not what I'm going for. I'm wearing red. So I might want to do a neutral eye. Let me go back to the drawing table on this one. I'm going to go back to the drawing table on this one. 
I want to play with the Wahala. Let's get into this beautiful fuck. I'm going to play with you. This is the Wahala. They have a Wahala too. But um, I like the one. I love this one. I keep these. It keeps my colors from getting all over anyway. You can see how it has shimmers. It has mattes. And it has um, transition shades. Like I'm probably going to use that all over my lid. And then transition into something absolutely beautiful. So, and it has this little red color. So I'm probably going to use it as um, the basis of my look and go around that as well. I'm looking at this one. Don't ask me why I'm looking at another palette. Because I tend to want to, because right here. See this one? This is the Magic Mini. And this is one of her early days palettes. And look how beautiful that palette is. Ain't it lovely? So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get me a good, nice and fluffy brush. I'm going to get my fluffy brush and I'm going to go ahead and put a base color all over my lid. All right. This one doesn't have mirrors. That's one thing I don't like about Juvia's Place. The artwork is beautiful. The colors are gorgeous. But see, when it comes down to um, having a mirror in my palette, it's not that friendly. So... So basically, this color is the same skin tone as me. So it just sets my eyes from all of the concealer that I put on it. You can see it showing up a little bit. But it's more of a flesh tone. And that's what I call it, a transition color. Because I tend not to put color all the way up in this arch. And I kind of like to keep it out of the arch. So I just go ahead and bang, bang, bang that out. And I'm going to bring it up later. And I just let my natural highlight underneath my arch just serve its purpose. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. you see it's not one of those colors your transition color should be a light color you don't want dark dark colors to go all the way up to your brows and then you look clown like right the next thing i'm going to do is get another packing brush i want to get a packing brush give me one second is the Juvia's Place Precision, Precision Brush and the Six in a Pink Collection by um, BH Cosmetic. What I'm going to do is put another color in here. I'm going to go... And this color should be a dark color. And this next color that you use should be dark. And I'm going to go with the Wahala palette. And I'm going to go into this color Fire. It's a red color. I'm going to go ahead into that and I'm going to create what I call a full cut crease. And what I mean by that, what I mean, I go around where I'm going to put the lighter colors. So I'm going to go around here. And that's how I'm going to do it. 
and I kind of just make the outline for it. Where my leg color is gonna go, I'm gonna go on the other side. And look how pretty. I'm definitely doing a neutral look with this. And you want to get them as even as possible. Where well, you go on the other side, you definitely want to go on this side. Okay. You don't want to go too far left and you don't want to go too far right. So whatever you do to one. I kind of go on the top of my eyeball and I stop there. Because I don't want to bring it all the way over yet. And the little crease like what you see, you should be able to see the, this color when you open your eyes, but when it closed down, it's like, yes. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my cavities. All right, next thing I'm going to do is gonna take a flat brush like this, and I'm gonna go into a shimmer color, and I'm going to go into I did a pinky color this last time. I'm going to go into the Magic Palette, and it's the color Zuba. It's like a pinkish, reddish color. So I'm almost getting the same eye look. But I'm going to go into this one right here, and I'm going to put that all over my inner, inner lid. Or should I do another color? Mm. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna go into this color right here, right underneath fire, and do rumors because I'm trying to pr create nothing too drastic, and then I'm going in rumor, and I'm going to add it to my lip. And this is where I come in with that fake cut crease. For me, cut crease make my nerves bad. And <laughs> it gives me anxiety real bad. So I take and I do that. Kind of outlines where and it's kind of like a cut crease, but I'm gonna blend it out to where <laughs> these two colors blend together and i'm gonna deepen this side as well and show you how i get that like ombre effect i'm going on the other side with the same thing Okay, I'm being real transparent with y'all right now. This is weird. As you can see, yes. So I'm gonna go back in with the, um, the brush I did the red with, and I'm gonna deepen this red here because I like my corners deep. So I'm going with color BU right here in the corner. It's like a burgundy color, like a berry burgundy. And I'm going to deepen that red at the bottom, not the top. And then I'm going to bring it towards the shimmer color because you want them to look like they're 
effortlessly done. So you want to blend those two. Right there. See? I'm going to go back and get another brush like this and then I'm going to um, transition it over. Like almost midway through the eye and you see how that looks like that. It looks good. And then I'm going to go in deep in this side. Oh, right there. And you see how it's deep and pretty? And I'm all over it. See them corners deep. You see how the look is coming together now. What you need to do is take that first brush that you used and blend that color out. Make it fuse together. Blend till you can't no more. And you can dip it back into the color and, and fuse it. But I just kind of like use what's on there and then because it's two different colors it's the lightest color so i blend out the darkest color right there and it's whatever color you want whatever color you decide that you want use it but I always have a transition color, a bold color, an inner lid color, and then maybe a, a deepening color. So a total of four colors. And that's all you need. You don't need, um, and this is a foolproof way of getting your makeup to look flawless. And that's good enough for me right there. You see that? Mm, I might um go ahead and darken, like lighten up my shimmer area. Add a little more, but not too much. And you go here go there lighten it up and bam now we will have to get into liner as you know from my last video I use um, magnetic lashes and the magnetic lashes come with their own liner so what I would do is line the eye as if it was regular regular um eyeliner so i'm gonna i'm gonna line the eye as if it's regular eyeliner like bam but the first thing i'm going to do is put my mascara on I know people, I'm all over the place. And I've been using this little Lash Topia by Bare Minerals. Whatever um, mascara that you use, do you. Um, whatever you like, you like. Whatever you could afford, you could afford. A lot of my makeup comes from BoxyCharm or um, my complexion items I do buy for myself. So I'm going to go in with this in a minute before I add my lashes or add it last. But I still have this um, setting powder on. So what I'm going to do is take 
a floofy brush. Not really floofy. But something like this. A tapered contour brush. Or this. And I'm going to sweep that that setting powder from underneath my eyes. It done caught all of the fallout. It sweeps away all the excess. You blend it off like that. And then I'm going to set it. Whoo, I know, glaze me. When I set, I go around with my, my either my blender or my foundation brush and I push it in. That way, you don't have no water bubbles. And this is before I even do my blush or anything because again, I wanna look as flawless as possible. This is just what I do. I push that setting in, I push it. So whatever setting spray that you use, push, 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 push. I'm not promoting one, one way or another. What works for you? Find products that work for you because what works for you don't work for me. Or sometimes it do, sometimes it don't. But it might not work for you like it worked for me. So I push everything in and stuff of my eye makeup. And just see. Ooh, radiance. I'm a dry skin girl, so I don't like my makeup to look. So, and then I go here. Yes, push, push, push. Push. You got to push. Get my chin and more. No, push. You got to push. Mm -hmm. I'm doing too much for day night. Okay. So, we're about to line them eyes. Line them eyes. Get your eyeliner ready. Bam, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it. And then I am going to pop it open. Bam, get my tip presentable and line. There we go. I'm gonna thicken my, thicken my liner. Mm -hmm. If anything falls on your skin after you done got it all flawless take a, a brush that's not as compact see how this one flows and moves and lightly sweep it off well as, as you can see you can see that liner i have to do two coats of my liner because this is my magnetic liner
I messed it up. Okay, teaching moment. You see how I got the liner into my, basically how you're gonna fix that? Take that same brush, go into that color and sweep over it. Bam, see that? Fixed. Don't freak out and be like, oh no, the whole look going to hell. I be feeling that way and then ba ba. And there you go. Okay, so I have to go on the other side and do it again. <sighs> right there. Okay, I'm going, it was kind of thick right there. I thin it out because I like my little brush to be perfect. And you're just going to follow what you did at first. If you're using a magnetic one like I am. And this eye just giving me a headache. And I'm going to literally bam. There we go. Now I'm gonna go to my eye beauty box. All right here. And I'm gonna pick a lash. I'm going painting, so I don't want too much flutter in my eyes. But it's date night and I want him to want me. I think I'm gonna go with this style dripping. Dripping in. I'm gonna take it out. Again, I already laid the foundation for these magnetic lashes. So the simplicity of it is I ain't gotta do no more guesswork. I just got a pop and drop. Okay. With lashes in general, the best way is to kind of get you a mirror look down and apply. Oh, that is beautiful. Look. Yes. Yes. Simple. Y'all, if y'all ain't got y'all no magnetic lashes yet, get you up here. This is in real time, people. Look how, man. And by being magnetic, if something is not right for me, I simply take them off and put them back on. Yes. Now I'm gonna take my mascara and Get my eyebrow, my eyelashes. If you got lashes, 
if you get your lashes professionally done, you don't need none of this. Okay? Me, I'm thinking about getting it done for the, um, for the wedding. So I don't have to worry about lashes. But my biggest fear is me going to sleep because I have real insensitive eyes. And don't forget to push your lashes on, no matter what kind they are. Make sure there is not a gap in sight. Okay. As you can see here, I got a little um, mascara right here. So I'm just going to take that same brush that I did with my concealer. And I'm above it out. And that's part of the win one of the things that like, keeping the bake on it, it prevents mistakes like this. You know, you can kind of easily correct mistakes like this because it's going on top of the powder. And when you sweep the powder away, you sweep the mistakes away as well. Sometimes I put my mascara on before. But um, before I put my lashes on, and sometimes I don't. See, put a little color and a little definition. Now I'm gonna go back and get, I got a little ishy, a little ishy. I'm gonna go back with the deeper color and put it underneath my eyes. Bam, tapped into that darker color. And then I'm gonna add it here. underneath my lash line. Bam. Let me get a smaller brush to detail it out. Like a little small brush like this one, as you can see it, or you know, the smaller under the meet the eye, the better. I'm gonna go with the smallest one I got. And put color underneath my eye. Mm. Don't laugh at my funny faces. If you mess up, don't panic. Get that concealer brush and fix it. As soon as I find mine, I'm gonna fix it. If you gotta use more product, put more product. If you don't, good for you. And that's how I fix it. Simple, easy, breezy. And there you have it, folks. This is my eye look. Look at her. She pretty. Now, I'm gonna go in and do my lips. I think I'm gonna keep it simple with my lips. Cause I'm wearing a mask anyway. I need something to buff my lips out. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take this and erase all that concealer off. Now remember earlier, my lips was moisturizing, not at all. Soft and plump. So if I do a matte lipstick, it won't be so tantalizing, like tug and pull on my lips. I'm gonna use the crayon case. I'm gonna use the color plump. And plump is like this reddish color. You can use it like, I was gonna do a neutral lip with the brown and color it in like that, but if you use any dark, well maybe I should do that. I'm gonna go in with coffee. Coffee need to be sharpened. Scrape, 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 scrape. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same sharpener that I used on my lash, on my eyebrow pencil. I'll just use the same sharpener. Put it on top of them. Skirt, skirt, skirt. And I get a perfect point every time. Put that back. All right. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. Okay. <laughs> now I done lined my lips. I'm gonna go in with color Marie. Now Marie is a beautiful color. And sometimes I don't um even use a lip liner. I use the dark color, like Gumbo from Crayon Kids is a brown. And then I'll go in it with my light color, like Marie, bam. And buffer out. Look at that, it is pretty. Use your finger. To buff it out. And there you have it. Now what I am gonna do as one final step on this is go ahead and clean her on lips. And clean your liner up. I didn't put more um product because you don't want to mess up the foundation that you already have laid down. So and that is Marie. 
Now, if you want to take it a step further, you can add a gloss to this. If you don't like mattity matte matte lips, you can add a gloss to it. And the gloss I'm going to use is going to also be by Crayon Case. As soon as I find it. In a Hall Pass collection. And do I want a pinky? No, I don't want a pinky. I'm going to do clean kisses. And keep them kisses clean biting. I have a whole lip container, people. Judge me later. Don't judge me right now. I know. I said the same thing to myself, too. This girl got too much makeup. She need to cut it out. As soon as I can find my what I'm looking for, we can get on with the show. Now, I do need to get private party because I like clean kisses, but I want private party too. And I add that because this is a pigmented gloss. You can use a clear gloss. Oh, what to say? Mmm. For all those people that don't want their lips to be bomb, bomb, bomb dry, go ahead and throw your little gloss on that girl. I'm going to go into my highlight and blush. And Juvia Place have a blush, two blush palettes. And I'm going to get one in my lip thingy thing. It's the Saharian Blush Palette Volume 1. This one has the darker colors in it. And then she did a Volume 2, which is a lighter, springy kind of. I want color, but I don't want too much. And I think I have to get that one for what I'm looking for right now. Oh, let me get two. I don't want a lot of color. I love my skin right now, but I like blush because it puts color back into the skin as well. Um, and this is the volume two. Yes, and this is the colors I'm looking for. I'm gonna go into this one and this one. Let me get a blush brush, and this is the Luxie Blush Brush 514. I got all my Luxie brushes inside my boxy charm, so yeah. I'm going to towel and be, and then I'm going to lightly sweep this on in a circle of motion. You don't want your blush to have like a sharp line, okay? Where's my mirror? You don't want to have a sharp line with your um, blush. I know it is. So I'm tapping in. Bam. A light little flush of color. That's what I'm going for. That's what I tend to go for. And then I'm doing the same thing on this side. Okay, tip number two. Once I put, or three or four, this is my blush tip. 
once I do my cheeks, I run it across my nose. It puts color back into my face, you see? And then I do a little bit up here, put a little color in here. Not too much, but I don't dip back into the pan to get this color, okay? And run it across, you know, my T-spots. But here, here, run it across. It just flushes me out. Like, I don't look like I got, you know, apple cheeks or anything like that. But I do kind of go out this way. And then I flush that out. And then I'm going to go into Heroin Glow 2. And put a little highlight in my face. And I'm going to be done, y'all. Let me get my highlight brush. It's from BH Cosmetics. Brush number 140. Again, that comes in a sculpt. Contour and sculpt kit number one or two. And I like these type of highlight brushes because they give me that floofiness of a fan brush. But, mm, mm, girl. Not so much. I don't have to work so hard with it. Y'all see it. And I do it right there. Get my nose up. Right here. And right here. Not too much. Like I said, I don't want too much as a date night. I'm not going to stun on nobody. I just want my makeup to be cute. Not too much, not too less. You know, get my nose. And to step number two when I'm doing brush and highlight, eliminate the harsh lines. I'm going to take my blush brush. And I'm going to go ahead and blend the two. I got my glow. But, and I got my color too. So, there you have it, people. I'm finished. Um, I'm going to have a mask on. Don't forget that either. Um, don't forget to like, share this video, and comment below of what you think. And what you want to see next from me. Um, I want to give you more um, things that's not makeup. I think I'm going to do a kitchen um, segment next. I'm not sure. Tell me what you think about that. Do you want to see it? Do you not want to see it? If you do want to see it, say yes, I want to see that. I want to see something else. So tell me what you do want to see on this lifestyle channel because this is also a lifestyle and beauty channel. So I don't want to get caught all up into beauty and then, you know, men can't relate or somebody that's not into makeup cannot relate. But I am loving this look. Isn't she pretty? A flawless, simple technique to get your eyes looking really good and multi-dimensional and it's simple i mean that's my formula i use it whatever colors that i have i've tried all the trends and i always find myself right back here with my eye looks and it just works for me And that's how I do my makeup simply. It didn't take me forever. I mean, it probably took me longer because I was on camera. But don't forget to like, a comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification button so you know when your girl is going alive with a new video. And I'm going to try to put more content out and get it popping so you can come back and see me. I'll see you guys next time. And thank y'all for coming into Bree's Beautiful World. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Real quick, y'all. Thank y'all for coming, and I just want to thank y'all for sharing in this moment. I want to make sure I bring her home so everybody can share in this. So. But first, ever since I saw her three years ago with this gentleman, <laughs> and she came up to my job, and I knew that I wanted to be with her, but I didn't want to lose my job. I flirted with her, so I had to wait.